<laughs> Seriously? Hey guys, Ols87 here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to build a slip and slide kickball field. I'll be telling you how to play, and I'll also be showing you how to build a pretty cool trophy for your winners. So if you want to see the full video, there will be a link to that at the end, uh, but first let's get started. The total cost for this build is about $70 and you're going to need some drop cloths, some kiddie pools, some tent stakes, laundry detergent, spray paint, and of course a kickball. So your first step is to lay down your drop cloth, that, that will serve as your baseline. I use the stuff on the right, that HEX brand, I got that from Home Depot, but they also sell something similar, like the picture on the left, I found that at Walmart. We ended up using the drop cloth because it came in 3x50 rolls which worked out perfect for the bases and I noticed that the slip and slide material just didn't hold up as well and we thought about using tarps but it's just not as slippery as the drop cloth. So your next step is to put your kiddie pool bases in place. We ended up using these three ring pools from Walmart since they were only five bucks. And if you're looking for a cheap rectangle pool that you can dive into for home base, they also sell the one on your left for about 10 bucks. And make sure you fill your kiddie pools up with a little bit of water to help keep the tarps from blowing away. Step three is the most important step. You're gonna wanna add some cardboard or carpet strips underneath your baselines to make uh, sliding a little bit safer and softer. Since we had a lot of extra carpet laying around, we covered the entire baseline, but if you're short on materials, you can always put it in front of the bases where runners tend to slide a little bit more often. The next step is to peg down the tarps. If you're low on cash, you can fill up some bags with sand or some balloons with sand. But for a better hold, I recommend you use something that goes into the ground like these tent stakes. For ours, we ended up using these shutter fasteners that we found in the garage. These seem to hold up pretty well, and if you step on them, they won't hurt your foot. Once your tarps are secured down, you're going to want to fill up the kiddie pools. And if possible, you want to keep that hose nearby to replace the water that splashes out after every inning. Next is to add the slippery stuff. We ended up using laundry detergent since it was slippery and cheap. It only cost us a dollar a bottle at Dollar Tree, and not to mention, it smells pretty good. For this step, we used one bottle per baseline, and this will last you the entire game. Next, you're going to add some water and mix it all up. Next, you're going to want to spray paint your bases, pitching circle, and your foul lines. For this, we use regular old spray paint. And when you're done, your course should look a little something like this. Then it's time to go for a quick test run to make sure the tarps are nice and secure and the baselines are slippery enough. And lastly, it's time to make a sweet trophy for the champions. For mine, I used some materials that I had laying around the garage, an old bug repellent candle, some PVC pipes, some wood, and an old kickball. For this, you're gonna to wanna to put the PVC pipes in place using liquid nails, and also do the same for the things on top. To hide the liquid nails, I put some red electrical tape underneath the ball. I also lined the wood edges in green electrical tape to make it look a little bit better. When you're done, it should look a little something like this. So how do you play slip and slide kickball? Well, it's essentially the same rules as regular kickball, except the baselines are a little bit slippery. And since we've all grown up playing kickball, I'm not gonna go into the rules too much, but they're here if you wanna screenshot them. And of course, you can always make up your own rules. For our game, we decided to only do five innings per game, two foul balls and the kicker is out, no walks, four outs per inning. We also allowed two runners to be on the first base at the same time. This cut down on the quick outs and got people moving around a little bit more, which is always more fun. And of course, since it's slip and slide kickball, all runners must slide into third base. And don't forget, if you have any cool ideas for a new rule or variation of the game, to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, video. We'd love to hear from you guys about what you thought about the field. Uh, if there's any questions we didn't get to, or you want to tell us what you want us to build next, you can do all that in the comments section below. Um, you can always find us on social media at Nothing To Do Crew. And if it's your first time here, we'd love to have you subscribe to our channel by clicking the red button below. And as always, thanks for watching.